Welcome back to our Getting Into Trello video series. Um, there's a couple of little things that I wanted to finish off on how um, how to utilize Trello. We've got most of the groundwork and you've probably got to this point. You're probably all ready to go off and start using it and playing with it yourself. But there's a couple more things that I think are quite useful to know. So we mentioned how we don't really delete cards. If we can help it, we can archive them. Um, the hard thing for that is we need to sort of find these um, information. If it's spread across the card or if it's spread in an archive, we need to be able to search. Now, you probably noticed it already. There's a nice big search box at the top here. And they give you some tips on how to search via a label or search via um, a, a member of the board, um, or you can just search in general. So we know we, we had holiday, so we're gonna say book. Um, search for book and it's going to start searching all of our cards okay so we can see a rough idea of where things are so we, there's a booked holiday that's been archived we can click on that and it will open it up now it gives you an indicator that it's been archived because you can see it says it at the very top and there's a kind of a nice bar behind there that kind of displays exactly what's going on so Really useful tool. Trello's got a fantastic search functionality. So if we're in the board here, we can hit the forward slash or question mark and it's gonna automatically jump up to, to now I had a haircut one in there. Let's see if that's still floating around. So we hit haircut, there it is there. So it's on our work board and it's popped up there so we can see it. We can jump in there and we can adjust it. We can also say, you can see that we can save those searches. So if I go at Lee. Okay, so I want to see all cards that have been assigned to Lee. Okay, so nothing. We've got nothing there. But if I go to, we can say, actually, yep, there's one here that's assigned to Lee. So this will give me a list of all the cards that are currently assigned to me. I can then go simply go straight into it. Um, so really nice search functionality inside of Trello. And it searches across the board. So if you've got text, um, if we if we go up here, if we go social media, it's going to search up um, certainly anything, any text that's been saved into the board. And it's also going to search up any card titles, of course, which is most people would probably search for. Um, so really nice way to to go through and, and search across the board and, and archive stuff. Now, if you if you don't really feel comfortable doing the search or you can't remember what you've archived. There's another way to get there. We can go over to the right to show menu. And we go back here, we can, um, so we can go into more, we can go into archived items. So it's gonna show us a list of all the cards that we've archived. And we can also send those straight to the board. So book holiday, I shouldn't have got rid of that because I really need one. So we can click on send to board. It's gonna pop it back um, where it needs to go. So this one, remember to fly bet flowers, it's gonna pop it back to where it was last appeared where it last appeared before you removed it. Okay, so that's a nice little tip to know as well. Um, let's say that we're um, we're in our archive. Let's say we've, we've archived this file again. We'll just archive it here. Okay, um, but it's maybe it's sensitive information. Maybe it's something that we should, that was an accident. We shouldn't have. We want to sort of clear it right out of the books. So you can see here, um, we've got different options here at the bottom. We've got a center board, which we saw before, but we've got a delete as well. So this permanently deletes the card from the database. Okay, so book. let's get rid of book holiday. You should never have expected one. Let's go delete. And it tells you to remind you here, all actions will be removed from the activity feed and you won't be able to reopen the card. There is no undo. Okay, so there it is gone. Okay, so now if we book holiday, nothing. I get, don't get any, any search results because it's been completely removed. So you're probably going, cool, okay, well, I want to do the same thing for a list, okay? I don't really like the done column. I think that needs to go. Now, because of the way the structure and the database works for Trello, you can't actually delete the list, okay? So we can archive it though. So. Um, some other nice little tips in there too, if you have a look through here. Um, we can copy lists, we can move lists, we can move all the cards, we can archive all the cards in the list. Um, we can archive the list. So that's what we're gonna do here. 
and it's going to make it disappear. Okay. Now, um, the next level up is, of course, a an entire board. Now, if you go over to the show menu, there's a close board option here. So if we hit that, it's going to warn us that um, you can reopen boards, okay? But you can't actually, you don't necessarily want to close the board unless you can, unless you really need to close it. Um, in that case, you can always, you know, it's not gone forever. Again, it's to protect that hierarchy of how Trello works. So you can see here, there's a whole heap um, ways to close it. Now, there's an option to temp permanently delete the board as well. Um, so that's something to, to be aware of as well. Okay, so we can reopen that. We don't want to close it. And you can see there that that sort of just pops straight back. Now, depending on how many cards are on the board, that may take a couple of seconds, but you can see it's pretty quick in how the whole system works. So that's how we can delete some cards, lists, boards, or archive them if we need to be, and how we can do some little researching around Trello. So I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the next one.